show you how to put this uh, connector on there. First, I start out uh, trying to get the cap off. And it's got two glues in there. It's got silicone for, for insulating uh, the, uh, the wires. And then there's some type of uh, glue back here, whether it's epoxy or something, I'm not sure. But I usually just work from the, from the edge here. I kind of go back and forth. And this one came off really easy. And I want to be careful because I don't want to... I don't want to pull the tabs off the battery that's itself, the uh, conduit tabs. And then from here, I like to push in on the connector and pull the cap, cap off. That way we can get that off without having an issue. This one doesn't have a lot of glue. And then from here, you just want to pick out the silicone. And then, of course, uh, when you go to heat it up with the iron, that'll help break that up a little bit more but I like to get as much off as possible all right so we're pretty much there all right so that came off nicely pay attention to your polarity always I like to always keep another battery visible so I can see how the connector goes on and if you'll notice right here it's basically the same connector, just a larger one. This has got a two, mil two millimeter pitch, and this is a .125. If you flip them over, you'll see the ridge on that back side. And there's just a little bit of a ridge right here on the micro JST. And this is this is a JST-PH, or a JS JST pH. Uh, there's an XH out there. Sometimes you'll see it labeled as a two millimeter pitch. It's actually a 2.54 millimeter pitch that's the xh don't get the xh make sure you get the ph this is the one that plugs into these charge boards here um you see i got one charging already and that beeper is probably going to go off here any minute but anyways um so just make sure you get the polarity right this one here a lot of these cables will come with a reverse polarity uh, different from what the batteries are so be careful that you're soldering on positive to positive there uh we're just gonna Pull off the solder here, and I'll just kind of pull that wire. I'll just work with each one separately here until I get it off. There we go. Let that cool, and then uh, push that tab back in place there. All right, so you'll notice here that we have a little thin piece of plastic with a separator, and that separates the two tabs. Those two tabs actually come up over the top here. And there's an extension soldered on, and you'll see the little solder points there. I tend to fold this out just to make sure it doesn't touch. And then we'll go and freshen up the solder on that. Um, let's see if I can do it with behind the camera. You know, make sure you don't. It is kind of, it is fairly well designed though. So that you're not going to cross those two points there, short those two points out, and short the battery out. But there you have it. All right, so next we'll take our new connector. Again, with the label up, you're going to see these two, these two pin points here, and that's what should be facing up. Um, and you'll see the ridge goes towards the back there. And if you need to, always pull out another, another battery and compare to what you got, usually working with the main label on the front there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I like to just push that up against there and look at the distance, take my thumb out and make a mark on the, on the cable itself. So that way I know where to cut it back to. About right there. Trim both of them off. Now, the tricky part is getting this insulation off. Alright, and because of the type of wire I've got here, I can, the insulation on here, just work it around. I can hear that little pop and it's separated. And there it is. And then you can push that back on if you need to. All right. At this point, we need to put solder on our wire. Make 
sure we don't melt our cap. All right, so at this point, I like to have the connector off so that we can trim this out because this, we don't get a new cap, so we gotta trim this out. Now, this is the back side here, right here. And you can see it's gonna fit in this groove right here as it goes over. And then this one's gonna fill in right here and come flush with that. So you can see how that works. So when we're trimming this, we gotta remember the direction of our connector, which faces up like this. So we want to trim the back side to have that ridge and to be flush, or to have a little ridge there. This is gonna be flush on this side here. And this is gonna have just a slight ridge with a little valley for that that ridge right there. So, and I just take, this is gonna be, may not look pretty because I'm gonna be doing this with a screen in front of me. Let's see here, I think I can make it work. So this is gonna be flush right here, okay? So we're gonna take and trim out some of this here. And square it off real nice. All right, and same thing with this side. And you can almost just go a little bit further, you'll see a little point right there that allows the side ridges to feed through. Make a nice little rectangle. Sound like Bob Ross, happy little rectangle. All right, and then we're gonna take this ridge down just slightly here. I'm gonna need a little bit more. That's a little bit too much there. And we want that to seat. Um, the connector well and we'll see you can see right here that it almost yeah we're gonna have to make it a little bit wider and we'll start to put that ridge in there sorry trying to keep it in in the frame here See how that fits. Still don't have our ridge in notes. Actually, it's going to be this way. Now we can put our ridge in just right in the center. Not quite in the center, sorry. But you understand what I'm trying to get to. Okay, that's ugly, but because I'm working behind the screen. There you go. Test fit. Make sure it seats in there, but doesn't go all the way through. Got our ridge in there, and that's going to work fine still, even though it's not the, the prettiest. There we are. Put some pressure on there, make sure it seats and where it's supposed to. And we're soldered on there. We'll take some silicone and we'll just add some silicone right in there to insulate it. Try 
try not to get too much in there. Now, the other thing I like is Jesse with Tiny Love has this nice gluey cells, which I've been very happy with. It's excellent for for frames. If you haven't bought it yet, buy it from Jesse. But either way, get you some. It is amazing. So we need to glue the back side of this. So just real nice little glue right there and so our cap fits on there real nice so the ridges here on this side go towards the the uh, the label there and then on the back this recess fits into that recess there so bend in your tabs here and then we're just gonna slide that over to make sure that this comes through there there we are Just gently, oops, I said gently. Work that on, make sure your connector comes all the way through and push that on. Now, I got the right amount of silicone on that side. I got too much of the welder glue here. So we're just gonna pull that out. So I like to put a rubber band on here to hold it in place while it's setting. It's gonna take 12 hours for a complete set on the welder glue. So I like to run the rubber band over this first ridge here, around the back side, around the ridge, and then depending on the length of your rubber band, you just keep doing that. And that keeps pressure on the cap. Push it down a little bit, make sure it's seated properly. And then I'm just gonna, while we have a moment, align that up so it seats just right and then we're done when you're finished you should have it looking like that there and there you are and then let that sit for for whatever type of glue you use let that sit until it's uh, set up the welder's glue is is uh 12 hours and that'll give plenty of time for that silicone to set up also so um, if you have any questions, let me know. Of course, put them in the bottom. If you got any better ideas or any suggestions on how to do this, um, please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like, whatever. Um, if you don't want to subscribe, that's perfectly fine. It's not like I got an important channel anyways. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.